Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we focus on making informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Techno Analysis Trading Plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. Before we pull up our video, we always want to start off our disclosures. Any symbols you see today should not be referred as a trading recommendation. No matter what foreign investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, options, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can't lose all of your money. Any strategy we show today are for informational purposes only, future results not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is solely your own responsibility, trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our forex technical analysis trading plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. In each video, we look at the prior session's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll review the gold chart to come up with leading sentiment. We'll try to create a low volatility and inside bar watch list, and we have an education spotlight at the end. Please send your feedback and comments to contact at dmbfx.com, and let's head to the charts. As always, we are starting off with the gold daily chart. Again, we can see that nice bounce off the 200 million average. Sort of get a, we told you the aggressive move was to get above the hammer that we put in on uh, Friday. So we said the aggressive move was if we get above 1640. We did get a nice little move there, a little 40 point move. But in essence, our 1660 resistance price level is still standing in. Uh, as we come over to our one hour time frame, we can see we can see the volume that is accumulating in uh, today and in our new session. Uh, we did get a move up. We did get above that 1640. But we went up and then we kind of paused and we're going sideways. Certainly doesn't mean uh, that's the end. But as we do again look at our daily time frame, we can see that we do have this 1660 resistance price level that we need to watch. Next, let's switch to the euro dollar. Here we're getting that sideways action on the daily. Uh, we, we're testing that support of 1.34, and we keep closing above and above and above it. Um, as we move in this sideways action, I, I would kind of sit on hands a little bit. We did have some nice volume in here uh, in today's action, but we can see on a one-hour time frame that we are in a neutral zone even though we're below our long-term average but we're in the neutral zone and we can see ever so slightly the euro is in control but the dollar is making a move up we can see the euro is averaging down but a nice little move up the dollar for the most part is sideways going up and down for now but a nice little move up here at the close and our sellers are in control uh, as we look at the indicator but again we're in neutral and we're still on a daily kind of going sideways after testing the 1.34 price level. Next up is the pound dollar. Here in the daily, we see this range that we're in, and we basically went down, test the bottom 1.53, came back up, tested 1.57, uh, and now we're putting in the inside bar. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. Uh, one thing to watch as we come over to the one hour time frame is this uptrend line that we could draw in so we'll see if this pullback that's going on right now does come back that might be a buying opportunity however we are in a neutral zone and it does look like we're making a pullback towards our short-term moving average here we can see that the dollar has taken control ever so slightly which is bringing our price action back down uh, here, whereas the euro, we saw it averaging down with a nice move up. Here, we averaged up, and now we're pulling back to our moving average. We can still see with the dollar that we're getting that sideways jigsaw action, but we pulled back. And ever so slightly, the sellers are in control. So if the dollar remains in control, we will see a pullback to our uptrend line, and we'll have to see what happens from there. Finally, we have the dollar franc. And on a daily here, we are testing that resistance or support now at 8.94, uh, 0.894. We're testing that. Uh, we'll see if we can hold up. We drew in on our one hour time frame uh, a little horizontal line here at 0.899. And we did break it. So as we come back up, what was one support? 
probably will become resistance. It will be interesting to see if we fall off of that. However, we are in a neutral zone. And the franc is in control. Frank is in control means they pull back, but the dollar is trying to make a move here. We can see the franc, although it was averaging lower, is now moving up. Again, our same sideways choppy action with the dollar, who made a nice move up with a pullback. Here, the buyers are still in control, so that might see us uh, uh, keep the daily support of 0.894. But again, we have to watch the one hour. Uh, horizontal line that we have at 0.899. As we come to our watch list this evening, we start off with our low volatility watch list, which is our one hour time frame using Bollinger Bands. Currently we're going to continue to watch the Aussie dollar. Now the Aussie dollar didn't make a move up, but after making the move up, it's, it's consolidating in the band or just now starting to get into the process of pinching. They still have more go, but they're now converging, coming towards each other. For our inside bar watch list, which is today's ring compared to Monday, we do not have anything. As we go to our education spotlight, we'll continue to talk about what exactly a trading plan is. And yesterday, we talked about the definition. Uh, the day before that, the video before that, we talked about uh, uh, what we should expect from a trading plan. And it's important to realize, again, as we talked about yesterday about fear, um, we are never going to reach perfection with your trading plan. You're never going to have 100% uh, winning trades. But what we are supposed to be doing is being a lifelong learning. You should, you should continue to evolve with the market. As the market conditions change, your trading plans will change. As the, uh, the volatility change, your trading plans will change. Liquidity. All these, these uh, external uh, uh, conditions as they change, you should evolve with the market. You can't use yesterday's strategy today if today's a different market. So as the market changes, we have to be willing to change our strategies for entering and managing our trades. You know you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. We have our free video course where we talk about what should be a part of your high probability trades. This hopefully will give you insight to us as coaches. I was working with someone this morning where we're getting ready to go over her, her specific trades. And again, our goal is to give you the ability to develop the trading mindset so that you can follow that trading plan day after day after day. Cash back for trades. If you're trading for it, why not get paid rebates for your, it doesn't change the spreads, doesn't change the conditions, re rebates for your trades. And finally, if you're looking for signals, we have that too. You can have a trade automatically or get the signals trade for yourself. But again, always keep in mind that whatever you get, whatever you're using as a part of your trading plan, make sure it matches who you are as a trader. Because at the end, it doesn't make a difference about your indicator system or even if you can't recognize a high probability trading setup if you don't pull the trigger. And that's what we do here at Move Up Mike. We, we help you develop that trader's mindset so that you can document and backtest and have positive expectancy about your trading system. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.